Well, I want to share with you uh, the protocol that I use uh, to solve uh, deep body malocclusion. And I want to share with you the concept between what is the difference between when we do a pure intrusion movement and when we do a relative intrusion. Okay? So there is a big difference in the way we plan the movement in order to get a good result. Okay? So the difference, we can start what is a pure intrusion. With that, what we want to do is we want to do just a vertical movement in the incisor. For example, we want to intrude incisors. So we are going to use the perpendicular edge of the tooth and without changing the torque, pushing with the liner we're going to do a, a pure intrusion movement, okay? Without changing the torque, okay? So in cases like this, where we have an, a deep bite, what we're going to do is we're going to maintain the torque and use the premolar as anchorage to do the intrusion movement, okay? Something uh, simple, okay? We have to, to know about in the moment to do IPR if, if we need that and on and well, a few things, when is the moment to start doing this intrusion, but this is the concept, okay? It's just using the premolar as anchorage to intrude the incisor, okay? The difference between relative intrusion is in the relative intrusion, we are going to do first, we are going to change the torque, and in this part where we are going to start changing the torque, we are going to start doing some intrusion, okay? So it's a concept like this where we're going to do a vertical movement of the tooth and the bone, but also we're going to change the torque of the of the incisors, okay? So in changing that like this, we're going to, to change the torque, doing something like this, okay? So pushing, the step one is just giving positive torque and then lingual root torque, okay? And once this uh, movement is achieved, then we can start doing the pure movement of the intrusion. Okay, so now following the perpendicular edge of the tooth, now that we have the proper torque, we will do the pure intrusion movement. Okay, it's a combination between relative and pure movement. Okay, so in cases like this, where we have a recognition of incisors, the step one will be change the torque, okay, giving crown torque and lingual root torque, and the step two will be doing the pure intrusion movement, okay. So doing that, you can achieve the result that you want in the deep bite, okay? And if you want, also you need to use the premolar remember for anchorage when we do this movement, okay? And if you want to simplify even more and even get even better results, things about the Newton's law, where we do uh, action reaction, okay? So the step one will be doing pure intrusion incisors and also pure extrusion premolars and using the action reaction low we can get this result okay so these are concepts that are really important if you want to achieve a good result in your cases so remember that at the end you are the person who has to do the treatment plan of your cases you are the person who have to to develop the, the treatment plan and you have to tell the technicians the one you the way you want to solve your 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 deep by malocclusion okay so thank you very much for being there and see you in the next lesson